am two years into being an entrepreneur. I wanted to level up towards e-commerce. I started researching alternatives to business cards. Hey guys, welcome back to Amani Beware. I am Mrs. Parchment, owner of Amani Beware, and I am so glad to see each and every one of you. If you are new here to the channel, then you are my special guest, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Let's talk about business cards and going paperless with your business. I had did a lot of research on whether or not I should take Amani Beware to the next level and go paperless. And what I mean by paperless is doing away with the use of business cards. Now, I'm not saying that every business should do away with business cards. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with business cards because trust me, I love having business cards, okay? What I am saying is that for me and for my business, I decided that I wanted to take it up to the next level in e-commerce, QR codes, to be contactless when we're out in public. That's why I decided to research other avenues of being able to get the information for the business out there without the use of business cards. Now, I will tell you that in the beginning, I was so, so, so excited to even start, you know, with my very first business cards. Like, I can't tell you, I was super, super excited, guys. I was so excited that when I first got my very first business cards made, it wasn't until after the fact that I realized I didn't do so well with uh, making decisions on this business card. As you can kind of see from here, the, the, the picture is okay and it kind of tells a story of what products I have and what service I have, right? But the font is a very, it, it's not a very good font, okay? The font is not very legible. I only have a limited amount of information on here for the potential client. I only have the email address. I have my Instagram handle, but I don't have the website. Um, I don't have any other information on here to let the potential client know what I offer um, and what we stand for. So when I realized that after doing more research on other businesses and tips about business cards, I said, okay, okay, hey, I'm gonna learn from this lesson on the next uh, set of business cards, I'm gonna make sure I correct it. So when I got low on these business cards, I went ahead and designed and printed out my next business card, right? As you can tell, I took the picture off. There is no picture. I did change the font, however, I have like at the bottom, I have like two uh, phrases there, really nice phrases for the business, things that we stand for really, and I'm going to read it to you, it says, uplift your entire attire, embrace your femininity. Those are wonderful words that can uplift and encourage anyone, right? But again, it's not really saying to the potential client what it is that my business offers and things of that nature. You can kind of get a guess because of the name is Amani Beware, but I'm not very um, specific when it comes to describing the business and what we do and what we offer. And now, if you flip it over to the back, now my first business card, I did not have anything on the back and I actually went back and started writing in my, my website. But, um, I did decide on the second set of business cards that I will have more information, which is a good thing. So as you can see on the top, I have my website, I have my email address, and then I have three of my social medias. One of the things that I was contemplating was uh, investing in a popple. So for those of you who don't know what the popple is, it's like a little small round um, sticker, I guess you can say, that goes on your phone and your potential clients can hover their device, their phones over it, and then it will transfer anything that you want to link to your business to that uh, potential client's phone. So that's good, right? And I think, you know, you can get the Popo uh, customized. You can have your logo on it. You can have certain colors on it. I was thinking about getting the Popo, but then I realized I basically was already doing what the Popo offered. And what I mean by that is whenever we went to our events or whenever we had pop-ups, we had our QR code for our link tree. 
Now with Linktree, as many of you already know, you can link multiple links on your Linktree and they're all located in one spot. So we will use the QR code at the events in the pop-up shops for our Linktree. So then they will take a picture of the QR code, which will then give them all the links, everything Imani D wear, and it's right there on their phone. So I thought about that and I said, well, really, we're already using the links with the link tree and the QR code, so it's really no reason for me to get the pop-up. So guys, what I've decided to do with the Money B wear is we are using our QR codes for our link tree. So not only is it everything of Money B wear in one place and easily accessible to our potential clients, but also it would be contactless. Let me just say this again, nothing's wrong with having business cards. So if you and your business decides to keep using business cards, that's absolutely great. The reasons I decided to, you know, not use business cards anymore is because I looked at myself as a consumer and I actually did a poll with people in my circle and I just asked them, I'm like, so when you get a business card, how long do you normally keep it? You know, when you first initially get it, like you look at it, right? Do you initially just put it in your purse, in your wallet, in your pocket, in your glove compartment? How long does it stay in those areas before you actually get it again, okay? And you actually do an action, like going to that person's website, looking at their address and going to their store or visiting their social media, going to, you know, the, the information that's actually on the card itself. So I asked these things and then just thinking about me, like I've had business cards, guys, hey, I'm just gonna be real. I've had business cards to sit in my purse forever. Like I totally forgot about them. And then when I see them, I'm like, oh yeah. And if it's something, a service that I really needed or a product that I wanted, I would then go to their website or whatever information they had on their card. But the thing is, I just feel like for me and for Money Beware, it would be a lot better for us to be able to have our potential clients just scan the QR code, have everything of money be where at their fingertips and at any time. And also, honestly, not getting any more business cards will help um, the business as far as our expenses and our overhead. So these are just, you know, some tips that I have for you if you're thinking about doing away with business cards for your company and just like i said if you decide that you want to keep your business cards look make sure that you look at your things like your fund and make sure that it's legible and that you have all the necessary information on your cards i hope that this a mini vlog today has been of a service to you let's connect in the comments i'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject, are you, are you using business cards? Are you thinking about going paperless? Do you use Linktree? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, our Linktree guys, it is connected, to, like I say, everything Amani Beware, it's connected to our website, our Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, our website, even our Apple Play Music. So guys, I love using the QR code for um, Linktree and for the business. So, hey, I hope that this helps you if you were thinking about doing the same. And again, I can't say this enough. Let's link up in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and I would like to invite you over to check out uh, my website. I have the information and those links also in my description box. Let me get you in your own set of waist beads, guys, so that you can start or continue your waist bead journey. I am so thankful and appreciative to all of you Imani Angels, and I will see you on the next video.